portable device that makes fire from water has been developed within a European research project. It doesn't use flammable gases, it produces its own fuel as needed. Yeah. This is an electrolyzer system we've got here. Uh, it's been developed to use a standard mains electricity supply and water. The water is split into hydrogen and oxygen gases and fed into a torch where a flame is produced, which can then be used for brazing or any other industrial application where a flame is used. So it's just using water to make a flame, basically. Hydrogen and oxygen are recombined at the very tip of the torch, creating a flame that's cooler and much easier to handle than commonly used mixtures of oxygen with propane or acetylene. You can see from the flame that it's a lot softer compared to something like oxyacetylene flame. There isn't a, an actual hot spot just off the point of the nozzle, so the actual glare from the flame is, is a lot less uh, aggressive on your eyes. So you can see I'm just wearing clear goggles. Pressurised bottles containing acetylene are dangerous and inconvenient. Their use is banned in locations where gas leakage could be too risky. And the hot oxyacetylene flame requires extra care when working with sensitive metals such as aluminium. So we have high temperature, high velocity, which can melt the workpiece very quickly, and that's, that's one of the principal downsides. Hydrogen-based flame is more gentle and cleaner too because it only produces water when it burns. Compared to acetylene gas, we anticipate that these, the cost of the gas in this type of unit will be at least 20 times cheaper than acetylene um, and that's because of the cost of gas storage, insurance and so on, as well as the cost of the pure gas itself. So one of the main benefits we've got from the, this torch on this system is that the torch always remains cold because of the flame, as it's being produced, it burns on the outside of the torch, so it's, it's cold to touch there, and as you're using it, the torch will never get hot. Um, and then when you turn the flame off at the finish of operation, the torch will also remain cold afterwards, so you can put it down anywhere you want.